So for the last five weeks, I've been training here at the High Altitude Training Center in Aten. Um, this time next week, I'll be on a flight home. I think I'll actually have landed back in the UK um, ready for the Christmas period. Not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to going home. Um, I've had a really great time here in, in Kenya. Um, but there's a lot to look forward to back home uh, in terms of Christmas celebrations, seeing family, friends, um, so I'm looking forward to that. And, but in today's video, I'm going to go over how much it costs to train in Kenya. Um, give you a bit more of an insight into um, the sort of facilities there are here, such as beautiful swimming pool, um, that is behind me. I'm just currently walking uh, down to the gym, which is about two minutes away from uh, where I'm staying, my accommodation, just up there on the hill. To give you a bit more of an idea of uh, how much it costs to stay here, who can train here, um, what facilities you can uh, expect if you're wanting to plan your trip. But before I do that, thanks for the support on yesterday's video, vlog one of uh, the December Vlogmas. It's gonna be good fun. I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, today's day two, so I'm just off the, uh, to the gym. Um, today is a non-running day for me. At the moment, I've been running every other day. Um, so I'm gonna jump on the elliptical for about 70 to 80 minutes and then I'll talk you through some of the other um, sections of this video as to how much it costs to train here in Kenya at 10. finished uh, 80 minutes on the elliptical this morning. I'm finding cross training increasingly harder to do now that I can get out running uh, pain free, but I'm trusting the process sort of running every other day. Let me tell you a little bit about the facility that I chose to stay at. So I've been staying here at the high altitude training center for the past five weeks. I've got one week left. So I'm here for six weeks in total. And the reason I stay, I chose to stay here is because in March, when I came here with the Kenya experience, we stayed here. Um, and I really enjoyed my time. It is one of the more expensive uh, facilities here in a tent. You can definitely do it a lot cheaper. Um, some people choose to rent their own place, and then you can rent a chef uh, and stuff like that, and it still works out to be a lot cheaper. But I personally liked the uh, convenience of this place. Everything is looked after for you um, when you're here. So if you choose to stay here, I realize this is a pretty good advertisement for the HATC um, High Altitude Training Center. Um, so if anyone's watching it and they wanna give me a free trip here next year, then uh, I'll certainly take it. But anyway, um, if you choose to stay here, you get three meals a day, you get access to the gym, which is just behind me over there. You get the swimming pool. The facility is also all, is owned by uh, Lorna Kiplagat, who was a, uh, ex-professional runner, very, very successful. She built the camp and she also has built uh, her own private track, just like you have in Europe, like a, uh, I don't know, a normal track, red track, um, which is about two kilometers away from here, private track, and you can gain access uh, via getting a pass from reception here uh, to use that track. I tend to use the, the Kipchoge Stadium more than Lorna's track just because I find the atmosphere at the Kipchoge Stadium is a little bit better. Also get daily maid service, so somebody comes in your room, cleans it, uh, makes your bed for you, um, yeah, generally cleans the room, which is very nice. If you want laundry done, you can hand it to the maids and they can do it for a small charge, which I'll talk about in a little in a, another section of this video. So in terms of the camp, everything you could possibly want is here. Um, the food is good, the gym's good, and uh, yeah, the, the accommodation is, is pretty good as well. So in terms of cost, if you would like to, to stay here, if you're thinking about coming to Kenya and you want to stay here as well, I definitely would recommend it. But as I said, it is a little bit more expensive. So if you choose to stay in a single room, you can expect to pay 54 euros per night. That's the current rate as of recording this video. So maybe it will fluctuate. Uh, or if you stay in a twin room like I am, um, so I've been sharing with Kush. Uh, we met on the previous camp. Uh, and it's 45 euros per night. And I have been here for six weeks, so 42 nights. So a quick bit of maths, that's 1,890 euros or 1,630 pounds. So yeah, that's a little bit about where I've been staying, why I chose to stay here. 
um, but obviously if you come to Kenya there is other ways that you can do things a little bit um, more uh, cost effective but I just like the convenience of having everything looked after me looked after for me and especially those three meals a day I think that's really important it just saves you so much time and you can just focus in on your training talking of food let's go see what's for lunch today so for lunch today we've got some pasta we've got some peas carrots and potatoes a bit of salad and some green beans and some carrot soup and I think we're gonna have an avocado as well so yeah plenty to eat for lunch today so another question that I've been asked quite a few times is who can train here um, and am I too slow to come to Kenya, that sort of thing. Um, and in short, anyone can come and stay in a tent, anyone can stay at the high altitude training centre. Um, it is more tailored for um, athletes looking to train, so if you're coming for a holiday it's not necessarily the place that you'd want to stay, There's not you're not allowed to have alcohol on, on site. Um, you're not allowed to have visitors come and, and see you that don't live on the camp. Um, so I'd say that the camp is for, for people that are, will, that are looking to train. Um, in terms of how good you have to be to, to stay here, to train here, the answer is that any ability is welcome. Um, I was talking to the guys at lunch um, and asked them what, what percentage of people do you think are professionals that are here and what percentage would you say are recreational runners and we sort of come to the conclusion that around 70% of people who stay at the camp that we're at are more recreation runners so they're just looking to come to Kenya for the experience and around 30% of people are here on training camps, elite athletes themselves so we've had um, athletes from Croatia, Poland, um, a lot of who have been preparing for the Valencia Marathon but yeah if you're uh, new to running, you're inexperienced, you still want to come to Kenya for, for that experience then yeah you're you're more than welcome um, at the at the centre where I stayed, and to be honest with you, I'd rec definitely recommend it to to people um, who are who are thinking they're maybe not so qualified to train over here because yeah, you learn so much while you're over here, and the running culture is is pretty incredible. Hello, how are you? Could I please get a cappuccino to sit outside? Thank you. Oh yeah, man do I miss my coffee machine though. Looking forward to seeing that when I get back. I've just come next door to the local cafe slash bar and ordered myself a cappuccino. Typically we'll do this pretty much every other day while I'm here in Kenya. It's nice to have a good coffee uh, and this place does the best one here. So, um, it's also part of um, the same camp that I'm staying at but I thought I would talk you through some more of like the daily spending what you can expect to spend when you're here just on like everyday activities like ordering a coffee so for example this coffee let me give it a taste test pretty good cost 200 Kenyan shillings which is roughly about one pound and I've also made some notes of some other daily spending that I've been doing while I'm over here just to put things into perspective for you so if you want to get a massage an hour massage will typically cost you 2,000, um, which is equivalent of 10 pounds. A mango, so we've been eating lots of mangoes um, at dinner time. You can order them just uh, next door at the local market stalls and then have them prepared for, the, for you in the kitchen. And a mango will cost you just 20 Kenyan shillings, which is 10, cent, 10 pence. Avocados are the same, 10p. So yeah, I've been eating lots of avocados, lots of mangoes while I'm over here. In terms of water, you can buy that. Five litres is going to cost you 200 Kenyan shillings, which is about a pound. Um, a taxi, a motorbike taxi will cost you anything from 100 to 300 depending on how far you want to go. So for example yesterday when we took the motorbike taxi to the start of the Kenyan Fartlek it cost 300 for the three of us which is roughly about £1.25, £1.50. Um, so very very cheap to get around. Laundry for me, a weekly set of laundry will cost me around 600 so again fairly cheap, £3 to, to get your laundry done which is which is great. Kenyan tea, that will cost you 100 which is 50p. A cappuccino, 200 which is a pound. A can of coke or a bottle of coke, the coke over here tastes really really good. I don't know what it is but coke in Africa just tastes completely different. Um, I don't know if it's because they use more natural ingredients um, but that will cost you 75p. A taxi, uh, sort of a more like modern taxi, will cost 3,000. So for example, when we want to go to the Kipchoge Stadium, um, for the four of us, it will cost 3,000. 
um, which is around £15 driver stays with you which I think is really reasonable and the only other thing that I can think of that I've spent money on while I'm here which was a haircut which cost just 300 which is £1.35 so once you're here in Kenya everything is very very cheap especially when you compare it to prices in Europe and um, it's just getting out here the flights and then the accommodation that cost the money so I just popped across the road to the uh, little arts and crafts shop and brought uh, Meg's parents and my dad a little Christmas present so uh, yeah um, I would show you what they are but I reckon my my dad might watch the the vlog so yeah dad your present Christmas present is in here you're gonna have to wait till uh, the 25th to, to see what's in there but I'm just heading back now then I'll go over how much the camp has cost in total including the flights the accommodation and spending money to give you a final figure uh, at what you can expect if you are looking to to come to Kenya and do a similar trip to what I've done. So I've just done some number crunching to give you a final figure of how much it costs to train at altitude here in Kenya for six weeks. So my flights, uh, for me personally, I have to fly from London to uh, Nairobi and then from Nairobi to Eldoret, then get a taxi here to Iten. Uh, and in total, my flights cost me £1,266. That's a return with uh, a bag that goes in the hold. Um, in terms of the accommodation, it has cost me a total of £1,630. And in terms of spending money, I've roughly spent around £500 since I've been here, which brings the total of this six-week camp to £3,396 or in euros, that's just shy of 4,000 euros. So pretty expensive. Um, I would definitely say it's worth it. And if you have the money, it's an incredible experience. To say that I've been here for six weeks of my life has been a, has been a privilege. I worked out weekly, roughly is around 566 pounds per week. Um, so yeah, hope you got a little bit more of an insight today in how much it costs to train in Kenya here at that high altitude training center. Obviously there is ways you can make it cheaper, as I said, but that is how much the campers cost me, a total of £3,396. Um, I would also highly recommend um, coming out for your first time with the running trips. Um, they have an, uh, the Kenya experience, which is what I did in March. It's basically a two-week camp where they give you an introduction to everything uh, running in terms of uh, being in a 10. They take you on uh, all the runs. They take you to the Boston Fartlek, which is how I knew about it. They take you to Moy Ben Road for a long run. Uh, everything is organized by those guys. And I think the trips roughly cost around £2,000 for the two weeks. So once you pay for your flights, that, that £2,000 for the, the trip, you get a really good Kenya experience. But obviously, there is ways, as I said, that you can make it cheaper. But that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed that. A bit more of an insight into the costs of, of the camp. Uh, something that I paid for myself. Um, hopefully I can claim it on expenses. Um, but yeah, I've had an incredible time. I've got one week left and I'm looking forward to bringing you another video tomorrow. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.